Hmm. Was one of the lecturers. Okay. Martha Fredericks was one of the lecturers, okay. and we studied Islam. And even uh, a Roman Catholic priest at the moment yes. studied studied Islam, uh, Reverend Father Antoine Mendy. Yes. But at this point in time, we'll need to take a short music break. But when we come back, we'll continue from where we left off. So please stay tuned and don't go away. We'll take a short music break, and we will come back soon. <laughs> Christianity. We are doing the program every Sunday, one hour program, talk on Christianity, discussion on Christianity, and today we are looking at the structure and the work of the Gambia Christian Council. Reverend Junisa gave a brief background of the structure of the Gambia Christian Council, and uh, he talked on one word which is very important. He mentioned one word which is very important, and that word is ecumenism. Ecumenism is a very important word in the life of the, the, the church, and that is when the different denominations, regardless of where you are, Roman Catholic, Catholic um, Anglican, Methodist, Pentecostal, you know, which, whatever, come together for a common purpose with a united voice. In other words, it's uni unity in diversity. And ecumenism, you know, it goes more than just the word. It goes a long way. This is when Christian denominations come together and work together for the propagation of the gospel in this part of the vineyard. 
We've just got a short music break, and now we will continue our discussion, and we would like to open up the telephone lines for your contributions, questions, and comments. The telephone numbers to call, like I said, will be on the screens and are there. They are there. If you are calling from Gambia, you call, please call 4375905, 4375905. And if you are calling international, 00220437910. So we are hoping to hear from you. In the meantime, we will continue with our discussion. Reverend, Reverend Junisa, um, um, ecumenism, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, brings mm -hmm. all the different denominations yeah. together mm -hmm. and they work for a common goal, yeah. for the common purpose with the United States. There are so many programs of so many activities that, you know, we, 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 we take care of in the spirit of ecumenism. One of them is Good Friday. You mentioned one which mm -hmm. is Sang Marie. Mm -hmm. Sang Marie is definitely a, a, a traditional Roman Catholic, you know, feast. But that notwithstanding, when it is, when it is due, you see all Christians regardless of their denomination, come together and do a procession in Banjul, in the streets of Banjul, starting from, uh, from uh, um, uh, the cathedral? St. Mary's, no, 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 Saint, uh, the, the St. Augustine's, the, the church mm -hmm. in St. Augustine's, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, Holy yeah. Spirit, and then go via um, uh, Lasso Waf, you know, singing and praying, all the way down to the Sea Lady of the Assumption Cathedral at Hilgan Street, and they do the final, final prayers there. Sometimes it, rain, it, it, it rains because it's always in August, and they say traditionally Sang Mari is a rainy day, it's a wet day, <laughs> you know. And Banjulians enjoy it. Even the, you know, the, the, the non-Christians know that they say Te Sang Marila, <laughs> you know, Te Fieti Sang Marila, and all this sort of thing, you know. And it's, it's, it's wonderful. And you see, l like you were mentioning before, Ecumenism cross, uh, cuts across, you know, even though um, uh, the Christ, Christians are the minority, but ne that nevertheless, even the, 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 the majority, which are the, our Muslim brothers and sisters, recognize the fact that St. Mary is a Christian feast and there is a wit procession of witness going on in the streets of Banjo. Likewise, Good Friday. Good Friday we all know it's Nanburu Day, like they normally, normally call it, but it's the day when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross of Calvary for our salvation, to save us. That day too in Banjul, in fact it used to happen in the Combos as well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, these days